Hello Exiles, this is Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming and welcome to another Path of Exile video. Uh, I'm here just chilling in a moon temple, just uh, kind of hanging out, fighting this boss. Uh, we'll try him from a distance where the blind won't take effect. But I just wanted to go over what's my favorite defensive combination. You can get away with extremely low amounts of effective health with this. And it's quite good for heisting because you can either just run through or fight your way through heists with zero problem. Uh, and unless you're against a very spell heavy boss, one-on-one uh, -on -one bosses are basically like impossible to lose, almost impossible to lose. So it's really, really nice for in that regard. And it's also good against hordes of enemies as well, although maybe a little less so. So basically the build is, uh, we're going to be utilizing Kintsugi, and it doesn't matter which character you're on, by the way, as long as you have Kintsugi and you have access to Wind Dancer. And we're going to be using a few additional defensive measures along with these, uh, including, of course, Maddening Presence, uh, just to get a lot of less damage multipliers put onto us. So this can also be utilized with things like Endurance Charges with Enduring Cry and uh, Tesalio Cleansing Water, which gives you additional mitigation. Now this is mitigation that doesn't quite count towards the less. There is an order of operations, so the less damage multiplier isn't going to get the full effect with all of these other sources, but it's still going to be a lot less damage taken uh, for fairly low investment. Like I said, you literally just need a Kintsugi, which by the way, uh, an unlinked Kintsugi is one chaos right now, a five link is 16.8 on average, and then you have a six link which is 4.8 exults, which uh, yeah, that's kind of expensive, but less so this league than other leagues, because that's only 306 chaos, and a lot of other leagues that many uh, exults would be so many, so many chaos. So makes a really big difference. And yeah, that is pretty close to the important part, but the best thing is, is there's a lot of combinations with it. So you can get it with like arrow dancing, which synergizes with blood and sand, which is another thing I'm using. I'm sorry, flesh and stone. So I am currently using Flesh and Stone. Uh, Flesh and Stone makes it so you take 10% less damage from attacks. Uh, I th think it goes up to 11. I just started leveling this up. But you take less damage from attacks from enemies that aren't nearby while in Sand Stance, and nearby enemies are blinded. So uh, you, you want to utilize Dodge, which you can get through Elusive and Acro Phase Acro. And you want to utilize evasion. Uh, you don't need that much evasion. I literally just have like survivalist and revenge of the hunted. I don't think I have any more evasion. I get a little bit of evasion from bravery as well, but that's about it. And then you will want, uh, so the blind from flesh and stone giving you that little AOE coverage. I'm also using a cast on damage taken to mortal call. Should use increased duration if you have it, of course. Uh, I don't have it because uh, this is a corrupted helmet and I could probably get it on some of my other piece of gear. But yeah, I haven't been paying too close attention because this character has been cruisy, mostly because of the defensive measures. I'll just go finish the map. But basically, the idea is you want to make a very low investment defensive character so that you can focus on whatever offensive path you want. And you don't need a lot of life. Uh, I would probably recommend an end game still having like 5,000, but because you're taking so much less damage, it's very, very powerful. Now, if you went like champion and you had perma fortify on this as well, you'd be looking at something that was uh, an entirely different beast in terms of how powerful it could be defensively. So you could do this with uh, an impale champion or something, or just any champion really. You could just throw, throw a champion onto a build and you've got yourself a build basically. But yeah, you're, you're seeing I'm periodically taking damage from large groups, but it's usually a fairly small amount of damage. Like honestly, I don't get hit that frequently. And when I do, it's not for much. And I can simply immortal call back as long as I'm at least slightly careful. I don't have to be that careful though. This is a lot less careful than most builds. And this is a particularly bad version of the character because it is a bow character that 
Um, well, I have gear like this with 39 life on it. So some of my gear is absolute crap and yet no problem at all. Uh, I've done up to level 82 heists on this character already and my character is only level 82. So uh, perfectly capable of taking on all of that. I've done a lot of heists with zero problem. Uh, some of them can be a little sketchy. You still have to watch out for the mods, particularly the uh, reduce dodge chance mod but just thinking of some combos you can do with this character saboteur gets the built in blind plus a lot of natural regen so this would be perfect defensive layers for a saboteur um, you could use it with a raider because you would get all of that buffed evasion which would synergize and for those who don't know because it's kind of new what Wind Dancer does is you take 20% less damage if you haven't been hit recently, and 40% less evasion rating if you haven't been hit recently, and 20% more evasion rating if you haven't been hit recently. Recently is the past four seconds, which basically means that uh, for every moment you aren't hit, you're taking 20% less damage, which stacks with this, which is also 20% da less damage taken if you haven't been hit recently, and 50% uh, increased evasion rating if you have been hit recently. I don't know if it actually shows up on the character card. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna go get hit by something. If there's 16 monsters left, so I gotta go hunt them down. Uh, they're up here in this corner, no doubt. But I'm gonna go hit something. I wanna see how, but my base evasion is not high. It's 56. Okay, it goes up to 1330 if I'm hit. That's pretty good. Like, and now imagine how much higher it would be if I had, say, like a 20,000 evasion just going into it. If I actually had good gear, uh, I'd probably be looking at like 50, 60, 70,000. I don't know. It's a lot. But I just wanted to go over this character. Um, there's, You can basically use this on almost any build. It would probably be pretty hard to do it with a Templar because it's literally the opposite side of the tree. But I'm doing it just fine with a Marauder. I'm sure you could do it just fine with a Witch. Maybe it'd be a little harder. But definitely like Shadow Ranger, Duelist super easy throw this into any build any build at all trapper throw it into melee throw it into bows throw it into anything literally anything and you will survive so much easier for a very little investment i hope you enjoyed this has been ryan from behind eyes gaming and i will see you next time bye